there was the, the famous quote, uh, the only good Indian is a dead Indian. And so Richard Henry Pratt was putting his spin on that and, and saying, no, rather than killing them, we should be teaching them to be like us. In the late 1800s, the Carlisle Indian School was meant to offer an education to Native Americans. Instead, it left a troubled legacy. Thanks for joining us this evening. I'm Evan Forrester. Fox 43's Harry Lee explores its history ahead of a scheduled exhumation of students' remains this week. They came from different tribes and spoke different languages. Between 1879 and 1918, 9,000 Native American children tried to learn to assimilate at the Carlisle Indian School. If you took children away from their homes and their family life and isolated them in another space surrounded by the dominant white culture, that you would be able to turn them into Victorian era uh, white boys and girls. Carlisle was the first off-reservation boarding school for Native American students. Considered education reform, it launched a movement of similar schools across the country. Carlisle's the first, but this policy affected everyone, and it's not well known. Um, it's not in the history books. Children were separated from siblings and forbidden to speak their own language. Historians say the drastic change and strict regimen led to some health issues, in addition to the higher risk of getting sick amid crowding boarding school conditions. Tuberculosis was the biggest killer. Over 39 years, 180 students died and were buried in the school's cemetery. They should have been here. They should have been um, with their families, within their culture, uh, and quite possibly they would not have become sick and died. The remains of 10 of those students will be exhumed Thursday. One girl from the Aleut tribe in Alaska and nine children from the Rosebud Sioux tribe in South Dakota. Historians say returning their remains to surviving family honors their memory and stands as a reminder of what happened. We should do everything we can to make sure it's a piece of history that doesn't get repeated and that we teach about it so that people can learn from these mistakes. Since 2018, the remains of nine other students have been returned to their surviving family members. In Carlisle, Cumberland County, Harry Lee, Fox 43 News.